Namaste everyone. Thank you very much for checking out this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you an artificially intelligent computer vision enabled game. I have developed using simple Python coding, right? How can we play this game? Let me first show you that. And after that, I'm going to tell you about the coding part. So for uh, playing the game, we need to bring our hand in front of the camera right so the moment you will do it you'll get to see a virtual hand which you have a full control on on unity's uh, home window right now in order to move this hand you can use your hand which is right now in front of the camera if you will move your hand towards the right side you will see the virtual hand moving towards the right and if you will move it towards the left you will see it moving towards the left on the unity's home window now each of these uh, blocks which you are able to see right now on the floor carry some mass that is the reason i am able to touch them with the help of my virtual hand and i have a full control on this virtual hand as i've told you so you know whatever expression i i will So it's, it's completely connected with my hand right now, right? And when you will create it for the first time, definitely you will be able to feel the impact of it, right? Okay, now how I created it, let me just tell you that. So I need to first stop uh, the game on Unity and then I need to come on my Sublime Text, need to cancel the build from here. Fine, so what I did first, is was i created a python file in which i defined all uh, you know these lines of code now don't worry about these code uh, don't worry about this code i'm going to share with you everything in the description section below i'll be putting a link to this project you can download all the files required for you to uh, you know run this project on your device and then you can just try to feel this project in case you come across any issues do let me know in the comment section below so here i have used a library called cv2 for accessing the device's camera then there is a library called cv zone i am using for hand tracking and this is the socket library which is actually helping us in connecting this python code with unity's platform so you know it is basically generating basically the gen uh, input which this code is generating uh, it is being uh, redirected by this socket to this port 5052 and right now the output port for this uh, unity platform for this project is also 5052 so you know that port is actually connecting this platform this project with this code over here right and when i bring my hand in front of the camera the virtual hand gets visible to us okay now after uh, creating this python file you have to come on unity and then you can you know create a new project and the first thing you have to do is you need to create an empty object with named manager right and here uh, after that you have to, you need to create an empty object again with name hand inside which you'll create these two empty object one with name lines and the other with name points inside lines you need to define these 21 objects so you know what the lines which are actually connecting the 21 points which is uh, uh, which are forming that virtual hand for us those lines are coming from here right let me just show you the code of uh, those lines so you know that's the cs file in which the code resides right from the from here the lines are getting visible through this code the lines are getting visible to us on the unity's platform when we run the game now each of these lines uh, you know is helping us in connecting the 21 points which gets visible to us when we bring our hand in front of the camera on unity and hand tracking is another cs line another file i have defined uh, over here for this project in order to uh, you know get the data and for that virtual hand which uh, gets visible when we turn on the game then there is this main 
project file with name udp receive it is for receiving the signals from this port we have defined here right so you know in this way you will be able to create this project if you want to know more about this project you can take the coding classes in which i will teach you how you can create artificially intelligent projects like this there will be many other things that you're going to learn in those coding classes so do call me today on the number given in the description section if you have any queries related to some other things you can put me you can put those queries in the comment section below i will be happy to uh, answer all your queries so this is it from my side i hope i've covered everything related to this project uh, all these three uh, files i have told you and then okay i haven't covered uh, you know these objects so let me tell you how i have created these stars over here so i created uh, you know an empty object first and then inside this i defined four cubes so i created this first cube and after that i duplicated it i created the duplicates of this cube and now there are four different cubes present inside this star which are actually uh, giving it a tar like look right then I copied the star and I created uh, three duplicates of this empty object and that is how I uh, was able to create you know these four objects I was I created all these four stars over here on this beautiful white uh, floor right and for this floor I have used uh, cube right you must be knowing about it so this is how i created all these objects which you are able to see on uh, this flow right now and let me just run this code again and show you the output i need to run this one also because uh, from here the you know the input is going to come and then i will be able to move the virtual hand all over the unity's window so just give me a short moment i have I'm waiting for that virtual hand to come. I'm waiting for that window to come first, which my device's camera will create. The code is in running mode. Let's see how much time it's, it will take to come. How much time uh, it will take the window to come on the uh, on this desktop. Okay, the camera is on. I think my window, yeah, it's there. And now if I will bring my hand in front of the camera, I am able to see the virtual hand, I am able to move it also. Okay, so it's working perfectly fine. You can see I am able to touch these locks, right? So you know this is something which is very uh, easy to make using artificially intelligent libraries of Python. If you haven't, if you haven't experienced anything like that till now, please do contact me on the number provided in the description section below. For your reference, let me just uh, speak out my number. So it's nine eight nine one double six five six three four. You can contact me on uh, this number whenever you're free. If you want to get coding classes uh, in which you know things like this are being taught. So this is it from my side in this lecture. Hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot. Bye-bye, take care and have a great, great day ahead.